I am Mike Evans, the creator of Cyberpunk Animated Web Series and Music Project XRO7, and welcome to the side series XRO7 Inspirations, where I touch upon the various movies, artists, anime, games, etc., which I've enjoyed through the years, which have directly or indirectly influenced XRO7. And it's no secret that the art style and side on camera angle is inspired by those gorgeously nostalgic classic games of the late 80s and 90s, specifically point and click adventure games. It's no secret at all, not like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh wait, that was actually revealed in the latest Monkey Island game. Were our predictions right about that? You know, check that out in our Monkey Island video. Side note, love the new game. Well done Ron Gilbert and Dave Grossman. Anyway, one awesome indie studio keeping the torch alive for us pixel-loving adventurers in the modern day is the fantastic Wadget Eye Games, the brainchild of the multi-talented Dave Gilbert. There he is. And I love these games, so I wanted to spread some love and touch upon a few titles that I've enjoyed in the build-up to the show. Their flagship franchise is the Blackwell series, games written by Dave himself, and of course others got involved in art and programming in various areas as this series evolved over five great games and the lore continues in Unavowed. The first game in this saga, The Blackwell Legacy, was released in 2006. The protagonist is freelance writer Rosa Blackwell who suddenly starts seeing ghosts, well mainly one, as she has the hereditary condition of being a bestower, aka a medium, and is partnered with a wisecracking charismatic 20 specter named Joey Malone. Dogs can see you, huh? Dogs, cats, birds, any dumb animal. So what does that make me? I don't know. A gerbil? You kind of look like a gerbil. Shut up. It's a really great performance by his voice actor, Abe Goldfarb, who, you know, gets around a bit in the YGI games. Just saying. He's in a lot of games. Without going too deep into the story and spoiler territory, Rosa and Joey go about their business trying to resolve issues of other wayward spirits and the bigger issues of the world, like a brainwashing, soul-sucking antagonist in the Blackwell Deception named Gavin. Ugh, Gavin! I mean, these games really capture the beauty that is point-and-click adventure. Dave has created this rich, captivating world of characters, and there are some really poignant scenes that really tug at your heartstrings. It's a really great accomplishment and it's been wonderful to see the series grow and the art style evolve as the team and series have expanded. Check it out. A couple of titles more in the cyberpunk spectrum. Gemini Rue is one where Wadget Eye had more of a publisher role than straight up development. The game was made by Joshua... Oh no. Nuremberger? Oh, I'm not great with names. <clears throat> made by a very talented individual. It's got gorgeous pixel art and has two parallel stories which eventually meet up with a character named Azriel, a former assassin who's trying to find his brother, and Test Monkey Delta Six. Disclaimer, he's not literally a monkey. He can't remember his own name, let alone his own backstory, and is in a facility doing tests instructed by the mysterious director. And oh man, I love the director's voice. Joey Rodriguez nailed it. Sadly, we wasted enough time, so... I don't have the time or nerve to listen to that automated tape again. I really, really don't understand why you have to put me in this frustrating position to have to recondition you all over again. Do you realize how far you've set back your training by trying to escape and having your memory wiped again? Techno Babylon is another awesome Wadget Eye published cyberpunk adventure game where genetic engineering is the standard. Most people are jacked in online and agents Charlie Regis and Max Lau are investigating a serial mindjacker who's hacking into people. Dude. This was developed by Technocrat Games and it's just another example of gorgeous pixels, a great narrative and voice acting on the roster. You know, there's a lot of awesome Wadget Eye titles and this video is going to go on for quite a while if we hit everyone up. But one more I'll briefly highlight is a recent one named Hobbs Barrow about an excavator named Thomasina Bateman where she's out to discover the secrets which lay within Hobbs Barrow. The game is full of British accents like this. Good day to you, pet. And this. What a tatty old thing. And this. No, no, this is not Elderflower. And uh, yeah, that'll do. It's got a great brooding atmosphere, delicious voice acting and dialogue. And oh my, that ending was... Uh... Have you recovered yet? What Dave and his team have created with Wadget Eye is really inspiring. I've been enjoying these games for years. And Resonance! Resonance! That's another cool game. 
But yeah, the pixel empire that the studio has built, the rich worlds and characters, I can't help but think that they've influenced myself in making XR07, putting in the work, making a pixelated universe and making things happen, especially as XR07 started out as a game before it changed into its current incarnation. So that's why Wadget Eye Games is an XR07 inspiration. Oh, and as a side note, they put a voice acting casting call for their game Strangeland a while ago. And myself and Lee, who's editing this video, sent an audition in, didn't get it. Ah, uh, Dave, come on. Right, I'd better get back to moving pixels around. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, all the good algorithmic things. Do check out the Wadget I Games mentioned if it's your thing. And feel free to check out XR7 episodes and music if you haven't done so already. Much love. Catch you later.